Satnam. Today I want to walk you through a series that is working with strengthening the heart and strengthening the immune system. And in this series, you can actually, this is not a Kriya. This is a series of, of exercises that can be used independently. They can be used together. They can be mixed and matched however you need to. Um, and you might find it interesting to observe which ones you're really liking, which ones are really challenging you. That's a great way to be able to access what you need. So the heart is related to the immune system. And heart has to do with cardio. It has to do with circulation. So we're going to be working with both of those today. So the first one is the Kundalini Yoga Jog. Um, it looks very different than your regular jog. So what I want to do is remind you of your foundation, right? So every time we're lifting, it's all about rooting. So I'm going to focus on pressing down through my right leg to bring the left leg naturally up in response to that. And I'm going to do the same thing as I'm pressing through the left, bringing the right up in response to that. So the only thing we're going to add is punches. So we're pressing down through the right, left knee rises. You want to rise as high as you can go and punch it out with the right arm. So you're working opposites here. Okay, straight out. And I, you're going to have almost your, your hands are like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to begin. We're just going to mechanize this. So so you're inhaling as you come in you're exhaling as you're going out get a good punch going and if this is the rhythm where you stay great if you are feeling really great and finding your coordination really good with the breath and the movement here, you can begin to add more power into a jog. So you're really planting yourself and extending through. You want to move that energy right through all the way. And you want to try to keep your knees as high as you can go with them. Remember, keep the chin at a right angle to the body. That's what's going to keep you going. Good. You got it. No matter where you are, it's beautiful. Keep going. If you do this one minute a day, it's going to be a great way to take care of you. Almost there. And inhale straight up. Exhale. And relax. Beautiful. So we're going to move into the next sequence. Heart is all about wholeness. And so we're going to balance the right brain and the left brain. You usually see this move more commonly on the floor. So you can do this on your back. We're going to do it standing. It's so using the same principle as before. We're rooting to extend up. This time we're lifting the opposite arm straight up, fingertips reaching up to the sky, bringing it down on the exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And you 
you can either keep your eyes open or if you're feeling really nice and stable or if you're wanting to develop stability, that's a really lovely thing you can do. You can close your eyes so that you're really focusing on rootedness and just allowing the leg to lift. The arm, remember, is extending up. You're reaching up. Your chin is at a right angle. And your breath is simply part of the movement. Inhaling sat, exhaling none. Knees as high as you can comfortably go. Good. Doing beautiful. Almost there. Inhale up, exhale, relax. Once again, just taking a moment, noticing how the body receives it. If you can shake it out, just be witness to that experience. We're going to shift it to frog pose, and this is Another great way to work. Um, also working with the live nerve stretch. So ideally your heels are together, but you can always keep them separated if that's going to work better for you. Um, your arms are between the knees and we're gonna be doing two movements here. On the inhale, your hips are rising, head is coming down. Heels stay up. On the exhale, buttocks come down, head rises. Okay, we're gonna be doing just simply, we're gonna do 11. You can go up to 26, 54, um, 108 if you feel really great. We're just gonna do 11 for today, okay? So here we go, ready? Inhale up, exhale down. When you complete the 11, inhale up. Knees are, st I mean, heels are still off the floor. Exhale, slowly bring the heels down. Slowly bend the knees and roll up. And once again, just resting here. Just noticing how the body receives that. Beautiful. We're going to come back down and we're going to work with the life nerve stretch a little bit deeper. Extending the legs out in front, rooting, extending through the heels, extending through the top of the head, keeping the heart open. If you can, you are pressing the thumbs onto the nail of the big toe to activate the pituitary gland which is a big, important gland that we're working with. Gives you intuition, access to heart wisdom. Pressing and staying here. Breathing long and deep. Engaging actively in the posture while releasing the unnecessary tension. Allowing the heart to stay open through the groundedness of your lower body. Inhaling sat, exhaling numb.
take a nice deep breath in. Exhale as you slowly walk it back. Just stay present. Noticing the body, the breath, the experience. Beautiful. <clears throat> We're going to come into our last movement, which is a breath practice. And this breath practice is working with the electromagnetic field. It's kind of an adaptation of the ego eradicator. It's just a different version. So our arms are going to go straight up, drawing the shoulders down, keeping the chin at a right angle. That invites you to naturally open the arms to 60 degrees. Really draw those shoulders down. Extend the hands as if you're holding a platter above your head. And your eyes are going to be focused at the brow point, and we're going to begin breath of fire. Go ahead and begin. All of your fingers are together extending through the fingertips. Remember that arms is all about posture and attitude. So pressing down through the sit bones to lengthen the spine, relaxing the shoulders, bringing that chin at a right angle to the body, not down, not up, but at a right angle, keeping the head above the heart, above the hips. Doing beautiful. Stay with it. Remember, extend the arms. Now take a nice deep breath in as you stretch up through the fingertips. Exhale as you relax the arms down. Make a movement if you need it. And just come to rest in the presence of that experience. And just resting here, breathing long and deep. Opening to the gross and the subtle shifts 